Hey guys, Kelly here, and I wanted to, first of all, thank all of you. Guys, in the last four to five months, this channel has increased to almost 700 agents, or 700 people that have subscribed, so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My name is Kelly, I am with EXP Realty, and while my channel uh, is not an EXP channel, if you are an agent struggling, and you would like to have a uh, conversation without feeling like you're being recruited, then below the video, you'll have access to, to multiple ways to contact me. There is a schedule, a call with Kelly link down there. So I challenge you to go ahead and use it if you want to find out why I moved my business to eXp. And guys, I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right? So again, thank you so much. Uh, my channel is about marketing, marketing tips and ideas, suggestions, techniques that in most cases you can implement without really spending a lot of money or no money. And I don't charge. There's, I'm not a coach. I'm not going to push anything on my channel. This is for you. We are real estate agents. We are realtors, kind of like brothers in this thing. And I've spent a lot of time over the years being coached at a high level. And I also am a part of a bunch of real estate mastermind groups. So I want to make sure I get this content to you when I've proven it, when I've seen it work, and when I've seen it work in other uh, real estate agents' lives. So that's it in a nutshell. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you go down there somewhere and subscribe and hit the bell so that you will be notified when I release other cool videos like this. All right, so today I want to talk about being relevant in a market that is trying to make you irrelevant. I heard one of my old coaches who I really like, I'm not going to mention his name right now, um, but I saw a video and uh, I don't want to mention his name, I want you to run to his channel. I want you to stay here and focus in on me. Okay, listen, Linda. <laughs> Um, he had a video that I saw the other day and he said, you know, as a real estate agent, your problem is, is more in relation to you're not using the right bait. You know, when, when you go fishing, it's important that you use the right bait, the right type of fishing line. I mean, if you're going fishing in the ocean for a 200 pound tuna, you can't use a, a you know, eight pound test line and a little piece of uh, tuna fish or chicken. You got to use the right bait to attract the right fish. The same concept is true with real estate. So today I want to talk about honing in on your unique selling proposition. Guys, you have to have an offer for the buyer or the seller to say, you know what, I want to work with you. And it has to be something that sets you apart from your competition. I'm actually going to show you in a minute some of my unique selling propositions. And I know for a fact that a lot of the agents here in town, just they just don't use these. And as I've said in my earlier videos, when everybody is going over here doing something, I go over here, shine a spotlight, and become relevant. I hope that makes sense. So again, your unique selling proposition has to be something that is of value. It can't be, I work with so-and-so brokerage. We're the largest in the world, or we're a very large brokerage. We sell tons of houses. I have a transaction coordinator that's going to help. I have professional, professional photography, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and I'm going to work 100% for your business. I'm going to be the best part. You can't do that. That might have worked five years ago. It doesn't today. As a matter of fact, what worked 30 years ago would never work today. 30 years ago, brokers actually owned the real estate market. There was no interwebs. There was no, you go and find a home online and call the listing agent or the owner of the home. You had to go to a real estate broker. Uh, broker. broker. Guys, I do all that without drinking. Um, and who had a book that he got once a month or once by, by monthly from the local MLS board and it had a list of every home available, right? And if you wanted to get access to a home or even know what was for sale in the MLS, you had to go to that broker. Not anymore. <laughs> now you've got buyers that have access to every real estate agent's IDX website within his area. He's got access to Zillow. Trust me. They are, they are making us, if you're a buyer's agent, becoming irrelevant. You're, you're more of a commodity. And listing agents, you've got competition. So what is your unique selling proposition? What is it that sets you apart that will provide the right bait for the right client? But more than that, it's not full of BS. I like to talk about practicing real estate without the BS crap. Guys, we are salespeople, so we have to be able to motivate the client into a decision that's just basic psychology, but you have to be able to do it without the, I almost said the cuss word, BS. So hone in, what is your uh, unique selling proposition? Let me show you a couple of, of the ones that I use right now. 
And this is not the sum total of what I use, but these are some of the big ones. And guys, you have to be able to take this stuff and translate it in your words, with your personality, with your psychology to the client so that they, a bell rings in their head and like, you know what? I think I do need to work with this guy or gal because that's some powerful stuff and it actually will bring value to me and my family. Because at the end of the day, you have to prove to that buyer or that seller that they don't need to go around you. They don't need to be a for sale by owner. They don't need to go and hire just any old agent. They need you because of what you bring to the table. So for buyers, uh, there's a couple things that you can implement right away in your strategy. Guys, when you work with a buyer, how many times you as a buyer's agent, you get frustrated because your buyer is actually emailing you at 10, 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Hey, I found this home on Realtor.com. That is showing you that they are be you're becoming irrelevant. You need to be top of mind. You need to be sending that buyer homes. And by the way, I don't go out and show buyers 50 homes. Once we get together and meet and talk about everything that they're looking for, then I go out and find those homes for them. I don't want them finding those homes. And um, one of the things that we do is we offer the buyer, hey, listen, when you work with me, um, I'm going to give you exclusive access to my secret list of unlisted homes or my dream home finder program. What this is, is once we ascertain, Mr. Buyer, what you're looking for, I'm actually going to go out and find homes that are not listed, but yet the sellers are willing to engage you to sell a home. So guys, I'm going to give you access to homes you're not going to find online. Now guys, let's stop right there. Let's just not overthink this. Most buyers are not looking at for sale by owners. For sale by owners are not technically listed. They're not listed with an agent. Um, most buyers are not going to go out and try to find data on old expired or fresh expired. So these are unlisted homes that at some point, either now or in the very, very near past, um, had people willing to say, I want to sell my home. Well, if there's a home that's expired or a home that's a for sale by owner that completely matches up with your buyer, wouldn't that be on your dream home, home finder list? All right, enough about that. If you don't understand that concept, message me below and I'll have a more in detail, in-depth conversation with you. All right, my love it or listen. And Mr. Mr. Buyer, the other thing that I want to tell you is that as your buyer's agent, I am going to make sure that you totally love the home that we go out and find and you make an offer and close on. And if for any reason in the first 18 months you decide that this home's not it. It could be a, a job change, a major life issue. You've grown the family. Um, you, you know, I don't care. Whatever the issue is, you call me within 18 months. I'm going to come out, list your home. And at the end of the day, when it sells, you are not going to pay me a listing commission. Now, guys, there are some caveats to that. We're hoping that they're going to go buy another home because if they do, then you're going to make at least two to three percent on that home. So it's okay to offer this. But you also have to let them know that because you're an agent working for a broker, instead of the 3% commission, you're going to charge the 3%. But at closing, the broker, or 2%, whatever you want to give them, but the broker's going to get his cut, but the lion's share that would come to me, I'm going to give back to you. And that's my guarantee. I hope that makes sense. Now, I explained that to you, but you don't need to explain that to them. Just tell them, I'm going to give you my love it or list it guarantee. If you have to blah, blah, blah within 18 months, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Keep it simple but make it a valuable offer. Now that offer right there is worth thousands of dollars to a buyer if you convey that properly. All right, I'm gonna negotiate, Mr. Buyer. Not only am I gonna do all these other things, but when we find the home, I'm gonna negotiate with the seller to get half or all of your closing costs and prepaids paid by the seller. And if I can't get at least half, I'm gonna give you 1% of my commission for you to use at closing for your closing costs or prepaids. And if it's a $300,000 house, you can just simply say, I'm willing to give you up to $3,000. The guys, the caveat is they have to find a home that's got a 3% commission. You can't give them 1% on a 25 or 2% uh, home that they find. You could bring that percentage down somewhat. But basically the concept is I'm going to give you up to 1% if I can't negotiate on your behalf to get that. So these are some valuable dollar cost uh, 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 value statements you can give to that buyer and it sets you apart. Now for sellers. Tailor these, these offers depending on what type of seller you're working with. For instance, if you're working with an expired, he gets a different USP. A FISBO, he gets one. First time sellers, they get one. Okay? So some of the things that I tell all of these guys. Guys, with me, you're not going to have a long-term listing agreement. I know that a lot of agents, when you engage them, 
want you to sign a listing agreement exclusive to them for three months, six months. I've seen them up to 12 months. Guys, once I share with you my marketing plan, you can't unsee it. But for some reason, if you're not happy with what I'm doing, you can fire me at any time. Now, I've never had anybody do that, but I'm going to write it in your contract because I don't want you to feel like this is a long-term marriage if I'm not living up to my bargain. So, Mr. Seller, I want to give you my, my uh, easy exit listing agreement, and you will be very protected to make sure that I'm going to live up to my bargain, and you're going to get the results, I promise. All right, boom. What is your marketing differentiation for sellers? Okay, I use a call capture software. Go and Google a company called Hotline America, and that's all I'm going to say. So I allow my seller to see, and I can actually demo that in their house. When I put their sign out, I'll have a writer that'll say free 24 hour recorded uh, message. And then there'll be an 800 number with an extension. When a buyer drives by and calls that, I immediately get a text on my cell phone and I get an email with the name of whoever owns that phone and that phone number. Now that 24 hour call recorded message will also invite the, the buyer to schedule an appointment to see the home. That will also allow me to send that buyer an automated, automatic three stage text over the next 48 hours where I will actually send him a website link and just different things to re-engage him. So I explained to my seller, most agents in town will not use this. I have it. I pay for it and I use it. And not only that, Mr. Seller, every time somebody calls on the sign, I'm going to get notified and I will program it to notify you so that you can see people are calling on your sign. What about social media ads, guys? Differentiate yourself. Mr. Seller, when I do take a listing and I get a professional photographer in with drone video, I'm going to go into social media and Google and I'm going to start paying for ads to entice buyers to come look at your home. I don't know any other agent that does that here locally, Mr. Seller, but I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. So I'm going to have uh, social media ads, both paid and unpaid to groups, that will net results on your listing. Um, guys, I'm also going to, Mr. Seller, I'm going to do something that you probably have never had an agent if you talk to other agents do. When we meet, I'm going to bring a list of at least 10 buyers looking to potentially buy within 5 to 10 miles of your house, complete with the picture of the home they live in and contact information. And I'm going to do that, Mr. Seller, to let you know that I don't just take a listing. Every day I have your listing, I'm actively looking for more buyers that I can personally invite to your home. Now guys, that right there should seal the deal. Between the call capture software and that, these are very unique dollar specific activities that are value to that seller. Now you're probably going, and I'm not going to, I have other videos on this, but you're probably saying, Kelly, what is this, this, uh, you can bring buyers. Oh my God, how are you going to do that? Are you paying for that? Is that zip? No guys, it's your freaking MLS. Statistically, NAR says, that 82% of all home sellers will be purchasing as soon as their home sells, and 60% of those are going to be buying in the area within 10 miles of their house. They're either going to move up to a bigger home or move down to a smaller home. So what I do is I reach out to the listing agents of homes I identify as potential candidates for my listing, and I email them weekly, inviting them to my house. So guys, when you explain this to the seller, this is a unique selling proposition nobody else is using. And lastly, Mr. Seller, one of the other reasons and probably the biggest reason we should probably get together. Now, this is after you've already found out in your conversation that they're going to be buying another home and it's within striking distance of, of their home. So it's not too far for you to drive. Mr. Seller, another reason I want to get together with you is if I sell your home and I represent you as your buyer's agent on the next transaction, my plan that I've developed can help you get most or all of your listing commission paid back to you. If not, I'll give you up to 1% of the next home, what I make for you to use at closing. Now guys, I'm not gonna go into detail there. I think you can rewind this, you can look at this, read it, parse it, dissect it, but these offers will entice that client to work with you because you are actually giving value, not just huff and puff and smoke and BS, or I'm this, I'm that, I'm gonna work hard for you, blah, 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 bull crap. This stuff right here is giving dollar value to that buyer or seller. And guys, if you do offer this, you better be doing it. If you say you're gonna do some advertising, do it. I do it. If you say you're gonna put call capture, do it. Check out Hotline America. There's other things that I can give you. I'm not gonna do it on this video, but if you reach out to me and wanna schedule a call, I will be more than willing, time willing, God willing, to go over those with you. But guys, that's it. I know it went about 15 minutes, a bit more than what I wanted, but this is really important. You gotta use the right bait for the right buyer.
You got to use the right bait for the right seller. Don't be a commoditized agent. Be an agent who's relevant on the cutting edge in your local community and doing something either other agents don't know how to do or just are too dadgum lazy. I mean, it's frustrating for me if I represent a buyer to have them send me homes. It tells me I'm not doing my job. So if you're a buyer's agent and you have your client sending you homes at all hours, get off your lazy friggin' butt. Don't let them do that. They're telling you you're irrelevant. And I'm not, listen, don't take me wrong on that. You can hear my passion. I want you to succeed. I want to succeed. If you're a listing agent, work every day to try to expose that home. Shine a spotlight on that home using Facebook. If you have to, Google AdWords. Um, put, put ads on Marketplace. They're free. If you're not doing your listings on Market, if you don't post your listings on Marketplace, you are missing the boat. All right, guys, enough said. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. If you are interested in talking about eXp Realty and, and what it could possibly do for you guys, um, man, go down below and schedule a phone call with me. I'd love to share with you why I love this company. I'm not going to ask you to join eXp. I'm just going to share with you my passion for why I love this company and how it's changed my life and given me multiple ways to create income in my real estate empire. All right, enough said. Guys, go out and uh, go get you some. Have fun with this stuff and let me know. If this, if this video was of value to you, if you can see using these things would make an impact in your business. All right, man, I appreciate you. Have a fantastic week in real estate. Go get you some.